Hi everyone, sorry about the delay in starting then, I've spotted the, the numbers haven't come on the screen. Um, so this is the second lesson to do with numerical methods. So this is iteration. So the idea is, if you had a graph and it had a single root, say, let's have it go in some form of cubic maybe. So there's its root. Now that, you're saying, is f of x is equal to zero. You're seeing where it equals y equals zero, the x-axis. Now what I do with iteration, my plan is to put a number in and get a better number out. And then I keep on doing that until the numbers become the same, which is kind of shown in the free example below. But graphically, I'm kind of rearranging the equation. Instead of having a graph where it crosses the x-axis, what I get is a rearranged graph. So say, for instance, I don't know, it might go like that. And the intersection with the line y equals x. Let's skim that down there so you don't touch it. So that's what I'm doing with this. This x equals g of x, as it's sometimes called. So instead of it crossing the x-axis, looking where y is equal to 0, I'll look where y is equal to x. Now, the reason for doing this, if I put an x value in and I get a y value out, because it also lies on the line y equals x, I can say, OK, that's my new x value going in. So I kind of put an x in, get a better x out, put that x in, get an even better x out, and keep on going till um, it hits uh, the same answer, hopefully. So it says here, so the equation must be rearranged into the form x equals g of x. So you can do it loads of different ways, and we don't really go into it, but there's reasons why some do and some don't. So this one is a straight up, I know, I think Martin wants me from the pause. Although, sorted, I thought I was in trouble then, uh, but I'm not. Oh yeah, right, so there's different ways you can rearrange it. Like this one just did a straight square root, a cube root, sorry. And I start off with the first value. Now, what I will say is our example doesn't use x0, it uses x1. So x1 is your start value. So that means that if I put 3 in, it gives me an x2 value of 3.14. And then I put that 3.14 in, and it gives me an x3 value out. Then I put that 3.179 in, it gives me an x4 value out. And I keep on doing it. You can do it in your calculator quite easily. So the same with this one here. That's an x2. That's an x3. That's a 4. That's a 5. That's a 6. That's a 7. That's an 8. That's a 9. So this one's a 2. A 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, and a 7. Depending on the rearrangement depends on what the answer can give you. It can either fly off the wrong way. Uh, and just make a, like, a, like a massive answer, or it can hit the one you want. Or if there's more than one route, it might even go to the wrong route. So if you look at this one, this one, the first one, has got a root of 3.19. But this next one has got a root of roughly minus 1. So it's gone off to the wrong route, this one. So this one's a wrong route. And this one is randomly just bouncing around. We might get somewhere they'll go like 1.4, 5, 10, 30,000, and off it goes. So, so there you go. Uh, yeah, so that's just showing us you've got different routes you can get. Right, I'll keep an eye on my time because the time says 4.17. So I might stop that one there and start again. Sorry.